Well, how do you do, buckaroos? It is Memorial Day, and I'm going to read just a touch from this bottle of lemongrass luau from Kona, inspired by the vibrant flavors of true Hawaiian luau. Our brewers combine the fresh zing of lemongrass with a snap of ginger to create this balanced, crisp, blonde ale. With this tasty beer at hand, there's always aloha around you. Well, how about that? Yeah, actually, I did a video for this the other day. I, I do find it enjoyable. It was 70, 70, it was 7.90 and a six pack. I figured, what the hell? I don't necessarily boycott Kona, Red Hook, or Widmer Brothers products, uh, but I don't. Tr I, I I try to avoid buying beers that are owned or partially owned by the evil empire so the last i heard it was 32 percent change that that the evil empire owned but uh so i, I like i said it's not an all-out boycott i just don't buy them very often unless you know uh, it, it, it's price or something intrigues me about the beer in this case it was both it was seven i did a six pack and the idea of lemongrass and ginger with a hot weekend sounded interesting to me it is a very interesting beer. Yeah, I mean, you certainly do smell that ginger on the nose. You certainly get that that herbal lemongrass with that little, that spicy bite of ginger on the flavor as well. I mean, it just works well. I like the beer a lot, i got to be honest. And my little Bex glass here. I need to buy some Bex to pair with my little Bex glass because I really, really, really love this glass. I do. I like it a lot, man. <laughs> but uh, at the same store that I bought this at, they had Bex for seven ninety eight a six pack, and I ain't paying eight bucks a six pack for Bex. I might have paid seven if it was six ninety eight. I'd have bought it, but I ain't going an extra buck. I ain't doing it. It is a perfect beer for a weekend like this. I mean, I've you know this is uh, I, I picked it up. Uh, <laughs> I picked it up uh, Friday evening, I guess, uh, and here it is Monday, and I still have four of the six pack, or three now, three three now left of the six pack. So I'm not slamming the beers, but it was a it, it's a nice enjoyable beer for a weekend like this when you have a long weekend, you have a hot day. It's a nice beer for that. With the flavors of ginger and lemongrass, though, it would be a nice beer to use to, to use to marinate some pork in as well. A nice uh, a tenderloin would be great with a beer like this, or to even pair to drink with. I mean, obviously, any kind of pork products, it's meant for a luau, but if you're doing something besides luau, it would work too, man. It would work with some chicken. Uh, I just got some coals in my grill here, so later on, uh, the only thing I've been I've been I've been smoking a lot of stuff. I have done actual a lot of actual grilling this weekend. I've been doing a lot of smoking. I've smoked just about every damn thing in the house this weekend. <laughs> I am. I've been a smoking maniac. Uh, but today I'm just doing some hot dogs out here. I'm gonna. I got it up. Uh, the only thing I'm doing today is. Uh, some Venezuelan dogs. That was Seamus's favorite style of hot dogs. I think he was about five or six when we saw a cooking show where they were doing a Venezuelan dog. And he was intrigued by that. And that was his favorite style of dogs up until, you know, up until we lost him. Oh, well, excuse me. So I'm doing a version of that. Uh, I, I, what I did pick up to use for the hot dogs is a, a nice pork and beef natural casing hot dog because I, I prefer I, I do like the all beef dogs I guess certain ones anyway I prefer the Vienna beef but they're too expensive to buy at home you can't buy them in the stores but I actually to be honest with you I really prefer if I can get a good quality pork and beef dog I find I enjoy that even more because I, I really like the flavors of the pork anyways I'd make a horrible Jewer Muslim I'll tell you that right now <laughs> anyways don't offend people Tom no it's a nice beer so anyways uh, yeah the Venezuelan dog uh, how how slow down <laughs> we 
when we saw them fix them on this cooking show, they, they used the, the hot dog, uh, they used cabbage, crushed potato chips, uh, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. Oh, I can't remember if they use relish or not now, now that I think about it. but So I may not be doing a traditional uh, uh, Venezuelan dog, but I'm going to get in the ballpark. I got the cabbage. I got the ketchup, mustard, mayo. Um, I probably got some pickle relish in there if it calls for it, but I'm not a pickle relish guy. I know I have some onions to chop up. Uh, so anyways, so hey, I'm talking to Beer Whisperer. We'll talk to you later. Well, how you do, buckaroos? I'm having an O'Fallon strawberry beast. <laughs> strawberry best. Actually, I picked this up uh, uh, Monday, the Monday before my birthday, because when I was looking up over, well, you know, Facebook does the memories things, and, and it showed that I had one on uh, around my birthday last year, so I thought, well, I better get one for this year. But I, I did find a store that had it on sale for 7 bucks, which is mostly why I picked it up. And with the weather that we've had this weekend, it's been a perfect beer to have around. Slightly tart in the finish. The strawberry is noticeable on the nose. It's just an enjoyable summer beer. I don't know that it's outstanding, but it certainly is enjoyable. It's likable. does what it says. There you go. I don't know the stats on her because I'm not doing a video specifically for the beer. If you want to know that stuff, look up the shit yourself. What am I, your maid? <laughs> Sons of bitches. You're on a computer. You're watching me. Look up shit on your own. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. So, i have been smoking everything in sight all weekend long. Uh, but today, uh, on actual Memorial Day, I'm doing it simple. I'm just doing some hot dogs. I have found a nice uh, uh, natural casing pork and beef dog. Um, and I'm going to do some Venezuelan dogs. And, and mostly because that was Seamus' favorite style of hot dogs. Uh, he loved macaroni salad, so I made some macaroni salad today. There's certain things that have been hard for me to do. So today I've kind of forced myself. I know that he'd want some Venezuelan dogs. I know he'd want the mac salad so I made them um, I, in the mac salad I put in some peas from our garden I mean it's it's close to a Venezuelan dog you know I mean it may not be a hundred percent but it's in the spirit of you know, I mean, I've got the cabbage I crust the tater chips I got the ketchup mustard man <laughs> you know I'm, I'm in the spirit uh, I've got some some nice uh, onion chopped in there excuse me uh, and, but I, I put them on my on my grill on my smoker here. Uh, but I am using just a little, little, little not a lot. Uh, I'm not gonna over smoke them, but just a little bit of uh, pecan would add a little extra smoke to them. And I've got them heating up at it right at 250 as we speak. So not too hot. I don't want them to get too hot too fast. But put just a little bit of that pecan wood. Want to add a little additional smoke to them. So there you go. Oh, excuse me while I scratch my nose in front of you again, son of a bitch. Uh, the pollen and the mold in the area has been so brutal every time I come out. It's just, and some of us, my Tourette's makes me do certain things. It drives me crazy. But anyway, what are you going to do about it? Uh, you can just not watch me, I guess. Ta -ta, he's a quirky fella. Yeah, he is. I do have Tourette's, though. I can't help it, man. I do sting, and I don't know. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, it is a likable beer. I think it goes with about everything. I mean, I only paid seven bucks a six pack for it. It was on sale, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Would I pay nine or ten a six pack for it? Honestly, not. Uh, but, you know, at seven, yeah, it's, it's likable. There's just enough tartness in the end to, to make it work for me. Ugh. 
So anyways, I hope you all are having a nice Memorial Day. Hope you've all had a nice weekend. I think some people want to make the day depress de depressing. You know, there was a celebration today where someone had said, uh, this is not a fun day. It's not a day to celebrate. You know, I, I disagree with that logic. My dad was a World War II veteran. I think this day is to celebrate. I think it, it, it should be a nice day. I think it should be a fun day. I don't think we have to dwell on the negative. I think that's what these guys fought for was so we all could we all could sit around and grill and, and appreciate the freedoms we have in this country. It wasn't so we can sit around and mope. You know, my dad was one of those guys not to dwell on the past. So, so when someone says something like that, it kind of rubs me the wrong way because my dad was a veteran and I know that's, that, that's not how he thought. So there you go. I guess do whatever you want to. You want to be mopey all weekend, be mopey. If you want to celebrate uh, the freedoms that we have, we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> do what the hell you want to do. It makes me no fucking never mind. Down to Beer Whisper. We'll talk to you later.